Hey YouTube, Bruce Corner is Rob Moffitt. Guys, we're doing a quick video review this morning. This is my step stool tool chest portable. It's 20 years old. I thought it's time to do a review of it. I was watching Salty Shellback. He did a review of his, his bucket organizer. And I thought, you know what? People need to know about this little gadget here. The parts of it that move the last hasp in the front and the hinges in the back have never broken down. They're still as good as they were when they first uh, made. Um, the storage, it's not too much because a lot of the space on the bottom is lost because of the legs. But you can hold quite a bit. And it has some flexibility. So let's say you have a can of WD-40 or some duct tape in there and it's pushing up this. This is a little bit flexible so if it's not rigid so it doesn't put a lot of pressure on the uh, hasp or the hinges. The legs I haven't cracked or broken at all. I weigh over 200 pounds but when you stand on it it's like standing on a rock. It's solid as can be and also it's a perfect height to sit on. Let's say you're working on your car or electrical system with the tires or in your house or work on the sink. As you get older you really need something to sit on. Also when you work on things one of the most important things you could have is uh, something to sit on to think about what in the hell did you just do? <laughs> How are you going to fix it now? Or where, where did you put that part? You sometimes uh, a, a, a stool, stool or a chair to sit in to think about your problems when you're making projects is the most important thing you could have. Um, like I said, it's got not too bad amount of space. I mean, a work, a, uh, I think, uh, who is it? I think. Dewalt makes a big chest that holds quite a bit, but you can't stand on it too well. Um, they also have ones with wheels on them, but this was only like 20 bucks by 20 years ago. They don't make them anymore. Surprisingly, it was made by Rubbermaid. You'd think it would be made by Craftsman or Dewalt or somebody like that. There's a, a similar one that's made by Works that's, in, that's being made right now. I think like 50 or $60. Like I said, this was about 20 bucks about 20 years ago. Nothing is broken on it except the label has popped out. I have never done it, but I've often thought if I could take a piece of rope and put around the legs here, I could prop in a piece of wood and press down on it, and the other end I could cut. So it would be like a, a, a little wedge clamp, uh, but I've never done it. But I think it would work out fine. Um, I have cut a lot of stuff on here by just holding my body weight, which isn't the right thing to do. But hand saw, no problem. Um, but... I've used this so many different projects, and like I said, it's so comfortable to have something to sit on in a project uh, when you're working on stuff and having to bend over at weird angles. It's, it's better to have something like this. And like I said, it's a perfect height for, for cutting things to uh, pieces of flat wood. So that's the, the video review today of the Rubbermaid 20-year-old uh, uh, portable step stool uh, tool chest. And it works it works flawlessly guys hope that was something helpful to you I put new videos on every week been doing it for 13 years got over 900 videos a bunch of cool people i feature my channel no relation to me they would die anyway and <laughs> and you'll come back put stuff on new every week all right take care see you out there